what I found among these companies was that their secret was real operational excellence. Uh, these companies made a set of specific choices and different choices than their competitors made um, and operational choices that simultaneously improved performance for investors, for customers, and for employees at the same time. So the same choice, the same operational choice, on the one hand, made it better for employees and, and created a better job for them. That same choice reduced prices and created a much better experience for the customer. And that same choice, again, led to much higher productivity, higher quality, et cetera, for, for the investors. Let me go through those choices really quickly with you. Um, and I'll demonstrate this with an example as well. So if you go to a typical super, and I, and I found four common choices. At least those are the four chapters in my book. Um, but within each choice, there are lots of other choices that, that work as well. This is not a comprehensive overview of everything that these companies make. This is my uh, distilling uh, some of their best, best things. So if you go to a typical supermarket, and I'll contrast that with Mercadona just for, just for you to get a sense for what, what, what this is like. And, and it's the same thing that happens at Trader Joe's, same thing that happens at Costco, the same thing that happens at Quick Trip. But if you go to a typical supermarket, you'll see that the employees who work there have very narrow responsibility. Um, they don't know much about any of the products that they sell. How can they? A typical supermarket carries 40,000 different products. Just a couple of weeks ago, I went to my local low-cost supermarket. They had more than 250 types of soup. More than 250 types of soup. Low-cost supermarket. This is not Whole Foods. This is not. Um, they had more than 50 types of shredded cheese. More than 30 types of milk. And I'm not even counting the chocolate milk. So, so how can an employee be familiar with all these products, right? So, so, so employees are not familiar, so they don't tell the customers much about them. Uh, their job is to shelve these products and then check customers out at the checkout. Um, they don't make any decisions. They don't order these products. They don't, even small decisions for their customers, they cannot make. Like if you want to return something, it's a whole process. They need to ask manager. They're not empowered at all. Um, that's what a typical supermarket is like. If you go to Mercadona, what you're going to see at Mercadona is that the employees who work there are so comfortable and familiar with the products, and they will tell you about them. Why? Because Mercadona focuses. It offers less. It offers fewer products than their competitors. Um, and the same employee is also empowered to talk to customers, empowered to solve your problems. They are empowered to order those products. That same employee is cross-trained, so they do a bunch of things. So if I'm a fruit and vegetable specialist, I order merchandise, I shell merchandise, I help customers, I do lots of different things. Um, and that same employee has enough time, because Mercadona operates with Slack, that they not only help the customer more, but they are involved in improvement. They have time for improvement.